totally one of the best savory pink food cooking recipe I've ever done. It's so good. Hi Barbie doors. I'm Mrs. Barbie. Today I'm doing quarantine pink food cooking. Yay! I'm super hungry. I wanted to make something super Asian. Yeah, I picked this one today. Do you know what it is? It's green bean vermicelli. It looks like a noodle, but it's made of green bean. It's super healthy. Yeah, so I'm using this. And I also put some ground turkey and some veggies, but I don't have fresh veggies here. So I'm using these two. These are freeze-dried carrot and spinach. So right now they look totally dry, but when you soak into hot water, they absorb water and they will become like more like fresh veggies. And they're just freeze dried, so it has no flavor. So like it's perfect for quarantine period. I'm so glad my friend sent me. So I'm using these two veggies, ground turkey. I have no idea how it's gonna be like, but I want to try. I'm so hungry. Let's start. It's today's main ingredient. Green bean vermicelli. So right now it looks so dry, right? Let me open. It has two pouches and today I only use one. Before soaking into hot water, it looks like this. There is uh, like several different kinds of vermicelli, but today I'm using green bean one. It's pretty healthy pour in boiling hot water and leave it leave it for three minutes three minutes and next I'm adding these two please dried vegetables my friend sent me ninjin that's carrot in Japanese and spinach hold and salt spinach in Japanese open it I don't know how much I need though. Hmm. I don't need too much. Is that enough? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, pour hot water again. They didn't have any seasonings or flavor, but it's just freeze dry veggie. That's it. This much? Or more? I don't know. Since I want to make pink food today, so I didn't want to put much spinach because it's green color, you know. So they just lay for five minutes. Yeah, I should start doing this first. <laughs> I didn't know if they needed longer time than vermicelli. Oh, time. Now you need to drain this. See? Look like this. Now it's not white anymore. It looks clear. I think it's good. So drain this hot water. Like this. Let me put it back to the bowl because I need to drain these two again. See? They're getting bigger. <laughs> and for meat, I used ground turkey today. I'm thinking if I should put tofu or not. Should I? Hmm. Yeah, I'm adding some tofu because to make it more volumey. Because I'm not making any other dish today. So let's add a little bit of tofu. Uh, this one is pretty big, so I'm just using one third. And here. Wrap with paper towel, put in microwave. And now I need to drain these veggies. Look like this. Look! It looks so spinach. You can kind of squeeze to remove excess water. Yeah, when you squeeze, it looks like this much. And carrot looks like this. Oh my gosh, isn't it crazy? Here's carrot. Now I got two kinds of veggies and also vermicelli and here's tofu after microwave now it gets a little less soggy I want to make it kind of smaller size huh? I 
Okay. I didn't do a great job, but it's okay. <laughs> Turn on the stove. We need sesame oil. Sesame oil. And put some ground turkey. Salt. And pepper. And put in some veggie. And put some tofu. You know what? I totally should soak in pink water. I don't know why I forgot about this. Oh my gosh. How should I do? It's okay. I will add some pink salt at the end. It's some Asian sauce, like a full marinade. I put this one just a little bit. And ginger, garlic, sesame seed. My favorite, favorite sesame seed. My gosh, it smells so good. Even more. And I'll put a little bit of sugar. And a little soup stuff. And a little soy sauce. Okay, I'll put some beet powder paste. And let's see how the color turns. <laughs> I need more pink though. I think that's done. What do you think? Wait, it looks pretty good. I mean, it smells so good. I just don't like the tofu is not perfectly pink. Maybe I need it to soak ahead or something. But it's okay. Let's eat it. I'm so hungry now. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. It looks really, really good. Don't you think? The tofu didn't turn much pink. Yeah, that's the only part I'm regretting about. But... You know what? Vermicelli part. I thought I did it wrong, but actually it turned a yeah, pretty pink color. Let's eat it. It smells so good. Since it's my first try with vermicelli for pink food cooking, so it didn't turn out like perfect. It's not like something I was expecting, but look, still looks pretty good. It smells so good. Let me try it. Seno, itadakimasu. Oh, it's just so. Maju de oishi. Those. It's one of the yummiest savory recipe I've ever made for pink food cooking. Seriously, it's so so good, so good. I, so far, I only tasted vermicelli part, but so good. Oh my gosh. Hello, my meat. Tofu. It's totally one of the best savory pink food cooking recipe I've ever done. It's so good. Let me just keep eating this because it's so good. Yeah, you know what? Since I have exact same ingredients still with me, so I'm gonna give a second try. Yeah, I wanna make it a little pinker, like a cuter. It tastes so good. And I'm already getting the idea to make tofu more pink. Mm. This noodle, this vermicelli, is made of green bean, not made of flour. So ingredients, it only has one thing for ingredients. Literally, it says green bean starch. That's it. <laughs> I love noodles, but I don't want to eat noodles too much because sometimes it has too much sodium and also carb 
This is just so good. It's kind of my original recipe. I mean, it, maybe it's not super super standard recipe, but I'm still glad that I can introduce you some Asian food. Thanks so much for my video. Stay home, be safe, be happy, and hope you have fantastic Barbie quarantine. Bye bye.